Now, the question is, why would a woman choose to send the husband out of the house the man bought with his own money? And why would a man decide to kill the wife in abroad? All right, guys, you are most welcome to today's segment of Inside Abroad Life. Yes, I've been on with this series without your consent. I have made almost 10 videos about Inside Abroad Life. You might find a playlist and watch them if you haven't. And this is me bringing it officially to everyone. Apologies, please. Meanwhile, my name is Chinyere Ojike. I am a mom vlogger based here in the UK. Okay, so straight to the point of the topic of this day. This is a true life story of Chia Maka, my Igbo sister, and Azubike, my Igbo brother. Both are couple, married. Unfortunately, both of them are no longer here with us. Yes, what happened? Um, many of you could be a witness to this, must have heard and listened to the voice notes to whatever that happened between this couple. You know, the woman, the man was heard on a police, on a conversation to the police, you know, talking to the dead body, which was the wife, the lifeless body of the wife. You know, I made you who you are. I brought you from the village. Your family were begging me to marry you. And I married you, brought you to the States. They were in the United States. Now you came over to the States. You became a nurse and uh, you grew wings and you turned our children against him, the man. That the wife turned their children against him, the man. And always asking him, the husband, to leave the house. These were the exact ways of this man. And in addition, this man also stressed that now that Chiamaka had become a nurse, Chiamaka stopped giving him, the husband, her pay slip. And he was also commanding Chiamaka, now that you are lying there, can you stand up and tell me to leave the house I paid with my own money? You know, you became the Messiah and the Almighty because you are now a nurse or you were now a nurse because we are currently talking about somebody who has been buried maybe three months ago or two months ago. You might have seen this story or heard about this story. So we are here now. In this content, I want us to talk about this. Men... You might be answering this. This is not, I am not taking sides for the lady because there are horrible women. Sorry to say this, women, but the truth must be told. I have seen there are women who are mean, who are character legs. There are fanciful ladies, beauty with that brains. I have seen a lot of them. I've seen women who cannot cook, who cannot do house chores, and they are all Africans. And I've seen women who are just saying, they just want a man because of his money. And I've seen women who do not want the husband's relative to come around, to step foot in the, into their homes. You know, so these things happen. And I have also seen good women, high number of them. So, men, is there any practice or practices in our African tradition, African culture that mandates a woman to always submit their paycheck to their husbands can you let me know please in the comment section meanwhile when i was working here and now that i am still working even the even the fact that a couple of months ago or in one year plus my husband was the one collecting my youtube money into his accounts and immediately they pay he transfer it straight into my account without deducting nothing from it and when i was doing my job I collect my money. He doesn't ask me for it. All the deals here in abroad, it is expected that women, I mean, a husband and wife should be contributing to the bills because it's a whole lot leaving this for just the man to do or just the woman. It shouldn't be one-sided. But I am not saying this is what you should be doing in your home. Right now, my husband pays everything in our house. 99%. Yes. Even though my name is included in all the bills as a matter of fact once our landlord takes the rents from his account i received the notification that they have collected the money for for our rent for the month not my husband you know but that notwithstanding i am not saying my marriage is golden i am not saying my marriage is heavenly 
per se because I am not even happy because I am the type of woman that would like to stand up and pay my bills myself, take my family to the moon, spend, do all the, um, pay all the expenses. Now, let's keep this aside and back to the topic of discussion. So please, man, let me know the question I asked so far. And then this woman could not be innocent you know, for always asking the husband to leave the house, the man paid with his money, and for turning the children against the man, I don't know what happened. Secondly, this man went to the village, like he said, and married Chia Maka, you know, whom he claimed he made whom she was. Mm -hmm. It's no longer whom she is. Now, why did you expect so much in return? I will tell you a story. When I was studying in UK, 2010-2013, a young man from my tribe approached me and uh, he kept coming around, at least. He visited me for two or three times. Yes, from the city where he was staying. It's far from where I was staying there, but I never visited the city for once because the city is about two hours by train off Manchester where I was living then. And this man, when I asked him, what exactly do you want from me? He wasn't coming out straight. You know, I let him be. When I went to Nigeria to, I told him I found a man, I'm getting married. He didn't believe me. And after some time, he told me why he wasn't really letting out to me was that he was looking for a doctor to marry. Somebody that would come and work out all the money for him. You see, greediness is one of the problems. A lot of African men in Obudu, Yibo, in abroad. Some of you are very, very greedy. What's you know that you cannot have. You want to use another person to make that money. What stops you from going into nursing, from becoming a doctor, taking the highest profession in abroad, hence you are already abroad? Are your brains blocked? Sorry to say this. I'm, I'm just speaking based on the experience I had in the past. You are not even a doctor yourself. You are not even a healthcare worker yourself. And you are looking for somebody of a highest grade to marry. I made you who you are. I brought you from the village and I trained you. You became a nurse. Now, because you have become a nurse, you no longer give me your paycheck. The exact statement of this man, if you had listened to that voice note anywhere on social media, because it's all over social media, just type in or Google the Nigerian man that shot the wife and shot himself in the States. It will come up, you know. I mean, if you are wealthy enough, you bought the house you were staying in the States, like you claimed, why would you be expecting your wife to be submitting your pay, her paycheck to you, the husband, who probably could be working? Because it doesn't make sense, even if you want the woman to be giving you her own money. Now, these were stories that happen here. I was on holiday recently, Easter holiday, one of my friends whom I knew how she started suffering in this country. She later became somebody because she later studied nursing, started working, married somebody from Nigeria and brought the person here because the first husband died. She brought this man into this country. When she wanted to buy a house, this man said, no, don't buy the house. And later she finally bought the house. The man is now claiming the landlord of the house. Secondly, the dad, this lady's father died in Nigeria. And she went and renovated their house. I mean, their, the father's house. She brought it up to a story building for the dad's burial. The husband was against that act. The husband reported this lady to his own sisters in Nigeria. And guess what? These sister-in-laws called this my friend. They were warning her. In Where in Igbo tradition does a, is a woman allowed to build a house in her father's compound? That that is uncultured. They are from Abia State where she married to. You know, and they rubbished her. She narrated all these things to me. And she said, you know what? That right now she's scared that she went into this marriage wholeheartedly. Trusting the man she brought from Nigeria to this place. Because the man too was a widower before then he married and the wife died you know he said but now with all these things happening that she no longer trusts the man that she's currently building somewhere in anambra state but guess what the man 
In fact, she showed me videos of the clips of the house. She said the man don't know. Why? Because that she cannot trust this man again. For the fact that the man is like an enemy of progress to her. Can you imagine that? Whereby she wants to do something, she will open up to you, tell you this, and you'll be kicking against that. Secondly, Nigerian men, African men, why is it so difficult for African men to also allow their women earn better salaries above them? I know of a friend of mine in this very country. She was doing something higher, professional job, but she has to quit and take something lower because the husband was not happy that she's earning higher. African tradition. Men, if you are watching me, let me know why is it difficult for you men to allow a woman to stand. Now, the third instance I'm giving you was this young man. He was new into this country, a work colleague of mine. The wife brought him to this very country. Though he said he was doing something, I mean, the job pays higher in Nigeria. But as he has arrived in the UK, he said he's not going back again. So they just got married in December. And in April, he was talking to me because he started working with us around March. He started talking to me about the wife, that they, they always have issues, disagreement. The, man was, the woman will sleep first in the world and he will sleep. I said, did you date? He said, no. So what exactly is going on? He said... That the wife is so disobedient. I said, how? Can you come on, please speak up? <laughs> he said, the wife is planning to place her own mother and father on salary, monthly salary. <laughs> I said, with whose money? My question. He said, of course, the wife is making money. She's working with her money, of course. Because I know him. He just started working at my workplace. I said, okay. With your wife's money and not from your pocket. And not only that, the wife is planning to bring her own brother from Nigeria to UK. I said, how about that? He said it shouldn't be done. That the wife is expected to be accountable to him. Any money she's spending, the wife should take permission. That this is the thing. The wife is so stubborn. How could she be spending money planning to... She has not even done that. Men, you see, some of you are the reasons why women do not confide in you. Why women do things on their own. A woman told you this. I mean, think about it. This lady came here to study at first. Do you know how much it costs to do masters in the UK? Possibly the parents sponsored her education. How is it wrong that a woman wants to be given the parents stipends every month? If I had my parents alive today, definitely I'll be giving them something every month. Men do that to their parents. So why is it difficult for your wife to do it for her own mother, mother and dad. What is wrong about that? These are the people that gave life to her, brought her up, trained her, possibly paid her school fees, her master's uh, whatever fee in the UK. And he told, in fact, every day this guy comes to work is about the wife. He said that he's going to, uh, he's going to run away from this marriage and let the girl be. The girl thinks that he's not serious, taking him from, to every day they will quarry, every day, fresh marriage, not up to six months at the time. This was happening last year, you know. So this is the problems. These are the bone of contentions. You abroad, you want to marry, you want to go to the village and marry. Continue. You think that that person you are bringing from the village doesn't know anything. Bring the person abroad. They will tear eye and do you the worst. The devil you know is better than the devil you do not know. This is one thing men, some men do not understand. There are wives. Wife materials are abroad. But you will be here wasting their time, wasting their energy, eat their food, eat their okoko bioko. Promise them rubbish that you cannot fulfill. And when you want to marry, your mother would recommend one. This was how one guy, a charismatic man, was becoming serious with me. At a point when I was about becoming serious, I learned that he, was, he, has fist, he had fist his uh, traditional marriage. What happened? At Onisha then, I was in Enugu. The mom brought somebody from the village for this guy to marry. That day, I went sick without knowing the cause of my sickness. I was down. And what happened? How many? They have three children together. And right now, as I'm talking to you, they are no longer together. 
they spent their money because then I was already in the university. The woman, the, 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 the guy's mom thought that me, I don't open eye. They went and brought this girl from the village and instead sent this girl to the university to study law, Madonna University precisely. The guy came and opened eye for them. In fact, he almost, he, she almost killed that guy because the guy, when I was in Lagos, even while I was in the UK, the guy was talking to me. He wants to come and see me. I said, please, oh, marry your wife. Oh, marry your... She has moved on. She be your mom brought their wife. Enjoy. Three children. I am sure that right now, because there was a time the guy said he's looking for the second wife. I think he's married again. I stopped talking with him because, my dear, you're a brave and a good I mean, his line of discussion is totally different. Sometimes he talks trash. Somebody who was truly a born again, charismatic, and now you want to come and meet a married woman and then make love with another married woman. God forbid. I want a money again. Not you and I. What did I do? I stopped talking to him because his head don't go no. A charismatic. Can you imagine that? So this is what happens when you choose to go to the village and think that, okay, you are bringing somebody who knows nothing. Now, liar. Marry that person you've been dating in Lagos, Port Harcourt, in abroad, in any way. That person has understand the culture and everything. Yes, if the person truly loves you, the person would stay. And women, if you had a tear eye, I beg. I don't think it makes sense to send a man out of the house, even though that you have come abroad and seen that, yes, we have all the powers, um, but make sure that you are doing the right thing, especially when the man is not hitting you, when domestic violence is not involved. Do not do that. It's meanness or wickedness. You can simply end the marriage if you want, you know. Yes, you can simply end it. I know doctor and doctor that ended this. Yes, the male doctor is about to remarry now, but the female, I don't know about her. They had two children together, but they ended their marriage. No biota. So this is how it is. Please let me know in your comments, in the comment section, if it is right for a woman to constantly submit their paycheck to their man. And women, on a way, they send on a husband out of the house, do all these kind of wicked things. Why? Though some of the reasons are the things I've stated so far, but please, it is so wrong. Yes, it is so wrong. Let's just watch it. Thank you so much for your time. I sincerely appreciate it. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and keep coming for more. Bye for now.